Hey class, this is a Lieutenant Commander Skripek. I hope your studies are going well. I am doing this video uh, in a series of videos to help you guys uh, reinforce some of the subject material in uh, night nav class. Uh, this is chapter two. This is the last thing we do in chapter two. It's one of the harder ones we do in chapter two, which is uh, plotting off of a navigational aid. Navigational aids are used um, to navigate, right? And you're uh, going to be looking at the information it gives in the plane. Um, so to keep that in mind, um, we know that everything that's referenced in the plane is in magnetic. So when we use this chart to plot our positions using information from the plane, we have to do conversion. Okay, so uh, something to keep in mind for this type of question, um, it's going to be described where we're, you know, what we need to plot, uh, either in a word problem or in a picture. Okay, so if you see a word problem, you're always going to be looking for radials and DME. So here's here's one. This is the Leona uh, Vortec at 090 degrees magnetic, 42 nautical miles away. Okay, so what is this down here? Well, this is the conversion, right? So uh, if I get this number, I have to convert it uh, using um, the vari magnetic variation. Where do I find that? Well, if you're not sh sure, there's um, on the chart, they actually give you the information. You just need to find it. So I'm, I've highlighted it for you guys. This is an, what's called an isogonic line. These isogonic lines show you the variation, uh, magnetic variation for this area. And so this is the closest one to what we're looking at. It's three degrees easterly variation. You find this at the, along this line. So three degrees easterly variation. What do I do with that? Well, um, for plotting onto your chart, you're going to remember this memory age. You're going to remember add east. Okay, so add easterly variation. Um, in another video, uh, I was I would talk about um, east is least, west is best. That's when we take things from the plane from the chart and we convert it to the plane information. So converting it to magnetic. Uh, east is least, west is best. This we're not going to do that. For plotting points on our chart uh, because we're converting now the opposite direction. So adding east is what we're going to do. So add three degrees, you get 093 degrees, 42 nautical miles. So you're saying, hey, this is where we're located. Where are we located? Okay, and then they'll have a bunch of answers, and we're going to go ahead and, and maybe it's the latitude and longitude. And then we have one more step, and you can see a video on that. Um, but sometimes it's just like, hey, you're next to this landmark, and then you're good to go. Anyway, so that's how that that's how you do that. Um, so we here we have the Leon Vortec. I've highlighted it for you, and um, and there's the 093 at 42 that we need to plot. Okay, so we have those two things, and in order to plot um, off of this navy, we need two things. We need our plotter, and we need our divider. Okay, um, what I like to do first is uh, measure the distance. Uh, with my dividers. Okay, now as long as they can hold position, that means if I give it a little tug, nothing happens. If they can do that, then uh, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to measure the distance first. If it cannot hold its position, if it's loose, um, then I won't do it first because I don't want it to move around and then I have to redo it. So just making less work for me is, is the name of the game. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, put my first point down and uh, and measure 42 nautical miles. So the first thing I'll do, go over one of these reference lines. And 42 is right there. Okay. So I got my 42. Now I take one of the points. I stick it on Leona Vortec. Okay. And that just gives me that reference point. Um, when I put my plotter down, it needs to go on that point uh, when I move it around uh, to get to measure the uh, direction, okay, it needs to stay there. So here we go. I got um, I got my plotter now. It's moving around. I need to get uh, the plotter to line up on a uh, point of reference. So this is their lat longitude line that it lines up on. The grommet needs to intersect with the line of longitude, and then the top no um, the top part of your arc needs to be at 93. That's what we're looking for. So 93 
um, closer to like 89. So now I'm at 91. There's 93 at the top. Look down at the bottom, my grom is still not lined up. So now I found my intersection. I look now I'm closer to 94. So now I have to shimmy it a little bit. There you go. There's 93 here. And it's lined up on the intersection. Cool. So now I have my uh, point. And what you can do also, if you don't want to just throw your divider down. So like say you have a loose divider. You could always just like hold your plotter down and use your pencil and draw the line there. And then there's nothing wrong with that. You can just you can go ahead and you know draw your line. Or say you did bump into your divider and you're like, oh man, am I gonna start over again? No, you don't have to start over again. Just take your pencil, draw your straight uh, straight edge, straight line along the straight edge, and then measure with your divider and put it down. Okay, so um, Anyway, so I have my straight edge, I have my divider, the distance is right, I drop it down, and then I look and see where I'm at. Okay, you can you write a little X mark there if you need to. Uh, this is right on an airfield, so I'm right on uh, Groveton Trinity. And so maybe one of the answers on the test is Groveton Trinity, and now I have my answer, okay? Um, it also could be like a latitude longitude, and that would be an extra step, and I have a video for that. Um, I hope you guys understand now how to do that. Um, just remember the conversion first. If you don't convert it, um, you're gonna you're gonna get a wrong answer. So um, I hope you guys are studying well. And if you have any questions, uh, text your instructor. Uh, if I'm your instructor, then text me. Um, hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.